Do God the best. Do God the best. This is an LMDI production. Do God the best. Do God the best. This is an LMDI production. Do God the best. Do God the best. This is an LMDI production. Do God the best. This is an LMDI production. Do God the best. All right, so this morning from the University of Liberia, Lugs and Tenebre, Fendal campus of the university indeed. Do call debates for elections 2022 press union of Liberia is beginning. Thank you. <laughs> Election 2022, Press Union of Liberia, Duco debate session, the latest, bringing on board the candidates of the day. So today, 2022, Debate for PEL elections. Beginning right now, we will process into the hall the following candidates of the day. Today, we call and will get into this hall. Candidate for Secretary General, Akwe Beza Jr. Akwe, may you proceed to the podium. Thank you. Akwe Beza is proceeding on Duco the Best 2022 Press Union of Liberia. Thank you. Beza may proceed as fast. Thank you, Beza. Next today for Duco the Best Press Union of Liberia, we call. And we'll get candidate for vice president, Betty Johnson Mbao. Betty will proceed. Betty is proceeding to the podium on Duco Debates Press Union Session 2022. Thank you, Betty, for arriving. Today, candidate for VP, Vice President, Beatrice Sier, will arrive. Beatrice is proceeding. Beatrice T.T. Sier. Candidate for Vice President, Press Union of Liberia, Elections 2022. Beatrice, thank you for coming. Now for the big ones. We call today and we'll get contender Julius Cooley Kanuba. Julius Cooley Kanuba will arrive. Julius is arriving for this debate. Thank you, Julius, for coming and for taking the podium. Last but not the least, of course, we're calling candidate for president Daniel Yankuna. Daniel Yankuna, candidate for president will arrive. 
Elections 2022. Candidate for president Daniel Yankona is approaching the podium. Great elections indeed. Candidates Besa, Mbao, Sia, Kanuba, and Yankona. Having arrived for this debate, ladies and gentlemen, may we rise together to take the national anthem of Liberia. Let's sing it together. Thank you. On Duke Hall debates. Here we are. Restline of Lake. But it's a long Liberia. Thank you, and for PUL. Thank you. It goes with the terrain. You are welcoming Amanda people. All right. All right. Thank you. Please go to the back. And all battle crowds will stop now. Thank you. In this hall, no militancy. In this hall, it's time for sober reflection. For soberity is the key to genuineness. Thank you. Great guys. And they just went as quiet. Thank you very much. All right, so we are proceeding. Today's debate is moderated by us, the LMDI. And we think as colleagues, you know us so well. But we will invite Moderator Adam Tugba to just introduce us to you briefly. Adam, thank you. On Duke Debates 2022. Okay, like John just said, we have those that make up the team of moderators today. On the team, we have Mrs. Limo White. Limo White works at the Liberia Media for Democratic Initiatives, LMDR, and as part of her work, she is involved in leading community mobilization and also assisting the program unit in report writing. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm pleased to present to you one of our moderators today, Limo White. Limo White, where are you? Please stand where you are. Okay, there's Limo White. Also on the Moderating board today is D. Adam Toba. D. Adam Toba is Deputy Director at the Liberia Media for Democratic Initiatives, LMDR. And as Deputy Director, D. Adam Toba helps the director in running the day to day activities at the institution. Besides that, Adam serves as the National Coordinator on LMDR's platform called Tomorrow's People, moderating academic challenge competitions. Adam also supports and is the director in moderating national debates and community media forums. Ladies and gentlemen, Adam Tupac, your humble moderator. Finally, on the moderating board today is Director John O. Colley. John O. Colley is the director 
of the Liberia Media for Democratic Initiative, LMDR. John is the one that runs the day-to-day -day activities of LMDR. John is an astute journalist, a community mobilizer, and a human rights advocate who has been working and serving humanity in Liberia and beyond Liberia for more than 30 years. Ladies and gentlemen, John is our lead moderator today for the President of Liberia Kennedy's debate for elections 2022. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our lead moderator is somebody that is well known. So I have the honor to present to you John O. Colley. Do call the best. Do call the best. This is an LMDI production. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. And Duke of the Bates is going straight into business. This morning, there are issues in the union that we hope could be resolved, uh, should be resolved. Those are called trending issues. Mrs. Limu White will bring them to you. Limu, thank you. The general transformation of the PUL within and without from its current state, the candidate's plan, the poor state of media personnel and collective bargaining, the state of the Liberian media economic stability, self-regulation versus state regulation, which way should the Liberian media go, harsh and profane rhetoric in the Liberian media, the state of the stall construction of the PUL headquarters, I repeat, the general transformation of the PUL within and without from its current state, the candidate's plan. Thank you, Lemu White. We will agree that these are indeed issues, right from the general state to sustainability. Hence, we are here today. The people who want to change this, who claim to want to change, are Biza, Mbao, Yakuna, Sia, Beatrice, and Kanuba. Now, great to hear from you. We have our ground rules to this debate. Adam Tuba again. Duke of the best. This is an LMDI production. Thank you, John. Uh, for us to smoothly and conducively conduct the debate today. We have a few rules that we like to read out as a way of reminding ourselves so that we can keep this place safer. Rule number one, all phones on silence. I just did mine before coming. I just applied the very first rule. So if you know you're listening, that's the very first rule you should be able to live up to. All phones on silence. Rule number two, no clapping during the debate section unless allowed or requested by the moderator. Intermittently, the moderator will call attention or the moderator will instruct us to clap. So we shouldn't be clapping if the moderator doesn't instruct us to do so. Rule number three, absolutely no booing and or jeering during the course of the debate. This is very clear. We don't have a boo at people. No boo, no jeering. You just have to exercise tolerance to the highest degree. Rule number four. Unrecognized questions are not permitted during the debate. There will be time when the moderator will permit people to ask questions. If you are not recognized, do not try to force it. Just make sure you gain the recognition to ask questions before you do so. Rule number five, give concise answers to questions and stick to the issues. Questions will be directed to candidates. Our candidates will have to make sure that they give concise answers, brief answers, succinct, and make sure you stick to the issues. Six, candidates are required to observe and respect the electronically projected timelines for speeches during the debate. Anytime you are caught 
to make a presentation, especially one of the candidates. The timeline will be electronically projected so that you can know for how long you're supposed to speak. If the time elapses, you will hear this sound. Do call the best. Do call the best. That implies the speaker shooting continue talking if the speaker has ever intended to continue talking. If you continue talking, we increase the volumes and then no one will hear you nor even understand you. And we know we don't want to reach that degree. Rule number seven, insults, personal attacks, and hate speeches are prohibited throughout the debate. A very clear message. Finally, absolutely no battle cries are allowed during the debate section. Thank you very much. Great. I hear somebody say, Jeff better will go home. You should start going now. Very important. We are out to ensure and instill discipline and civility in our land. This we will do to our utmost. If you resist, don't be our friend. Thank you. Today, like our ground rules said, we will call each speaker to speak. And we will say, JKB, you are given five seconds to speak. And all we need to do is to give JKB his time. And it starts to come from that number to zero. At zero, there will be a sound. Five seconds now. Do call the best. Do call the best. So JKB's five seconds will be finished. And then beyond that, we will blast the hall. He can't speak better than those speakers. No way. So we are going to the debate now. First session, self-introduction and platform and vision. We call the electoral body to make a statement, but they said they are quite busy today. We are on several radios across Liberia today. We understand the state broadcaster, our partner, indeed across the nation. ELBC is taking us live. Thank you, ELBC. We hear Sky FM and television are doing the same thing. There are several online, uh, our own Liberia Media for Democratic Initiatives, LMDI, Dash, I mean, Dash LMDI is taking us, and our dialogue platform is also taking us. Others we may not know, Lux FM, our partner at the University of Liberia, I understand has us live too. Thanks to all of them. And now, we will begin today's debate with candidate for Secretary General, Akwe Beza Jr., our white ballot Secretary General. All right. Now, Beza, do anything, wave to the crowd, let us know when you're ready. We are actually giving you four minutes to speak. But let us know when you're ready. Yeah? Thank you. I'm ready. All right. So your time is rolling now. Thank you. Duke the best. This is an LMDI production. Thank you very much. Before I go further into telling you about myself, I will ask that all of us stand to have a moment of silence for our colleagues that we lost over the years during the time of our service at the level of the prison of Liberia. Meaning to silence part of your time, though. May their souls and other faithfully departed rest in perfect peace. You may be seated. Akwe Besa is the current assistant secretary general of the president of Liberia. He holds a Bachelor of Arts degree in mass communication with emphasis in sociology. He is a student, uh, a readmission student at the Stars. In, in, uh, University of uh, Technology in Information Technology. I 
Akwe is married with several children hmm. and happily living together. He is humble and respectful as we express the views of others and a respected person. Today, at the level of the president of Liberia, upon the trust reposed in us, we serve diligently to the expectation. That's why today we have no contender against us. And we've come this time around to say with the trust reposed in us, that is continue. For we believe in the oneness of this union and with the togetherness, we can all help to change the paradigm of what we are today about this union. Across the country, we have done a lot, and there is still a lot to be done. What can we do at the Secretariat for the fact that we've had our first hand information and a practical one? At the level of the President of Liberia as Secretary General, I, as Assistant Secretary, I ably assisted the Secretary General and beyond to ensure that the Secretariat was as effective as it is up to date. We supported the first presidency and the presidency to ensure that the aim and objective of this union is being achieved. We are not one of manners and you know, people who want self-glory. All that we do and all that we hope to do is for the sake of the union. And I ask all of you, regardless of political differences, as soon as this election is over today, the winner becomes the president of the president of Liberia. Let us amalgamate forces in the spirit of oneness, whether or not that candidate or those individuals who are elected president or vice president, I from your camp or not. So, as Secretary General, I will work along with the president elect and the vice president and the assistant secretary general to ensure that there are records, records of the secretariat are folded, recorded, reported, and with a robust stand instead of advocacy, reminding my bosses about how the union is, what it is to be, and how we can go about doing things. And lastly, as a sitting secretary general of the president of Liberia, we orchestrated, and today we are a member of the Global Forum of Media Development. Do call the best. Do call the best. Cut by time indeed from four to zero, four minutes. Akwe Beza has a degree. He's going to an IT institution in the country, STARS. He's been serving as um, under secretary, and he claims to have been as loyal to many leaders. He does not undermine. Akwe believes that there are unfinished things in the union and good things that need to be done. Hence, he put up, because of his good work, Nobody is opposing him. Akwe brags about that as important to any leadership. Akwe believes that we all need to work around the leadership to move the union forward. That's what he claims. November 6th is the D-Day. You may please wait. And if you believe Akwe, he's already on a pause, but Trust him from December or November the 6th. Thank you, Akwe, so very much. All right. Next, today, we will go to the next group, Vice President, candidates for Vice President. Alphabetically, Mrs. Zimbao, Betty Johnson will be next. Thank you, Betty. Thank you. All right. So Betty will take her four minutes. Who is Betty? Why does she want to be our leader? 
can she do the good? Better your four minutes will begin rolling now. Do call the best. This is an LMDI production. Thank you to LMDI. And thank you to my husband who sits at the back, Dr. Moses Mbayo. It is a privilege to be here. And I've come here for one reason. And that reason is to assist someone who I trust. My name is Betty Johnson Mbayo. And I'm a journalist. I started this profession as a volunteer where I worked for four years with a salary. So I've come. I've come to help someone who will forge for the rights of people like me. I have a bachelor and degree in mass communication and a candidate of master in public administration. At the same time, I'm in, I am enrolled at um, the Blue Crest and College where I'm studying um, data journalism. With that said, I'm a Christian. I have three children, all girls, which I, I do cherish so much. And I've come to advocate for the rights of journalists with a man who knows the person of Liberia, Mr. Daniel Young Kona. I was not on handpick. I was vetted, and I have brought a commitment and experience, and that will or is aligning with the platform that we have. We want to see how um, journalism can be seen from a whole different perspective. And too many times we've been on bad, on bad apples and everything. But with the team, with this team, with team Daniel and Betty's leadership, it's going to be a whole scenario of how we can self and regulate ourselves at the same time ensuring that there are stories that people will respect from Liberia and journalists as well will be respected from Liberia. I bring a wealth of knowledge to this team. I've won several awards, both international and national, which of course all of you sitting in the pews are aware. So with that said, I'm here to assist a man that I believe in, a man that I trust, and we're going to win. Thank you. That is saving actually 53 seconds of our time right there. Thank you, Betty, for doing just that for us. Betty Mbao, my husband is in the back sitting right there. I have come today to help somebody I respect. This man is a man of credibility, so I come with him. I'm a candidate for masters. I have a degree you already know. I'm doing data journalism. I'm a Christian with three children. I love them. I come to help to advocate for people of lesser push who are in the media, journalists. I come with experience. To help young Kona, I was not handpicked, as people may imagine. I was vetted and brought on board. We come to weed out bad apples. You know my character. I have awards both nationally and internationally. I come today so that we can build the union. I believe in self-regulation. This we will seek as the team Daniel Yang Kuna. We will win. Thank you very much. All right, so great teams. Duco Debates 2022. Press Union of Liberia Elections Candidates Debate is taking a break today at the theater. 
or hall, ballroom of the Fendel campus of the University of Liberia. To be back. Do call the best. Do call the best. This is an LMDI production. Each one shot, each one yes. Each one shot, each one yes. Honey, I was listening to the radio the other day and I hear people saying, each one, teach one. What I want really mean? It means one person who no book more help the other person when I no book to no book, especially in the area of reading and writing. All you need, number one, your ABC book. Number two, your copy book. Three, pencil and free time for you and for your teacher. Then if you know it well, well you can help other people to be like you. Like what we call each one, teach one. I think whenever you do the thing here, then we all happen to make Liberia good country and big bold country. A message brought to you by Literate Liberia Movement. Each one shot, each one yes. Each one shot, each one yes. Do call the best. Do call the best. This is an LMDI production. We are back. All right, next. Today's candidate for VP, Beatrice Titi Sia. You take the podium, madam. Thank you. Thanks to ELBC Sky, Lux FM, all our partners who are joining us on various platforms across the country. Beatrice, set for four minutes. Your time is rolling beginning now. Thank you. Do call the best. This is an LMDI production. Beatrice here is a Liberian journalist, a graduate of the University of Liberia with a BA degree in mass communication, and a strong advocate when it comes to the media. She's very passionate, and she wants to see a better media in Liberia. It's indeed an issue, and I'm glad that the, the LMDI recognized stick it issue in the media. And these are things that we are bringing on board, Tim, Julius, and Beatrice. We want to make this union a viable one, a union that will be credible when it comes to critiquing national issues. We want to bring to this PUL vast knowledge that has to do with not just sitting in Monrovia. We want to go out there to surrounding counties to make sure that PUL is felt at all points. We want to construct the press unit of Liberia headquarters and subquarters in the counties to not only be a Monrovia base, we want to seek people in the county who we call rural journalists, and they are part of us. We want them to feel a part of this. Like we go for uh, awards, we see that journalists in the rural areas have been left out. But we only come to Morovia and we win all the awards. Awards people only in Morovia. Don't you think that the journalists in the rural area deserves these awards? These are some of the platforms we are bringing. Tim Julius and Beatrice want to see a total inclusiveness in the media. Accountability is one of our issues. Whatever phone that is brought into the, to the PUL, whatever phone that is being raised by members of the PUL, we want to see us giving accounts for them. The collective bargain is a strong one that we're going to stand by to make sure that journalists' welfare are met. So these are some of the issues, sticky issues, and I'm glad that the LMDR have recognized some of these issues that we have in the media. Beatrice here decided to support Julius for presidency because she wants to be a supportive arm to help in whatever situation that the media can be recognized. The media can have an integrity. The media can be a, 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 a dignified one. So our brothers and sisters who are in the rural areas, we should not sit and just allow them when they say it's time for elections, then we go for their votes. 
but we should make them to feel that they are part of us. We should get to them, make them feel that, give them a headquarters. And we are proud of some of those counties who have done theirs, have given themselves a headquarters. That is not a building that we should be sitting in at the, in the press, you know, of Liberia. So we want you to join us, put hands around us, so that we construct the office of the press, you know, of Liberia. I thank you. She saved Beatrice Amin 43 seconds of her four minutes, ranging from having a bachelor's in communication from the University of Liberia to talking about her coming to help uh, Team Kanuba, Julius Kanuba, to do the job of credibility, bring credibility to the union. She wants to decentralize the workings of the press union of Liberia. She believes that for too long we've kept the people in the local communities far away from the good. We only need them when we can use them for our objectives. She believes that raw journalists too deserve awards. Why shouldn't they have them? She believes indeed that accountability has become a problem in the union She's come to help. Collective bargaining by one of our trending issues, this woman says, is strategically important for the union. She wants to be a supportive arm of uh, Julius Canuba. Uh, further to note, she wants a recognition of uh, the press union of Liberia. She wants to bring the real union to the fore, the front burner. If you believe in what Beatrice has said, November 12th. There you go. Agbanga, no so? All right, next, we're going to the big men in the game. They're going to take five minutes because they are big. They will lead all this. In the paramilitary and military, they say, the modus operandi of the leader, of the commander, ships the deal. So it is with the presidency. Like we say alphabetically, we will go pursue name. Our candidate for president, Julius Kanuba, is next. All right? Why you can shake down your hand too? Go there. Go over there. Don't do that stuff. Don't not shake my hand, man. Don't do that stuff. They think over, we'll go by, we'll go hustle, man. Yeah, man. Where you all? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Julius, for coming. When you arrive, let us know. Thank you very much, John. Uh, I, I did shake Danny's hand you know, when he was entering, so it's not strange. But hey, uh, I didn't say you can't do disclaimer here. <laughs> 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 All right, so Julius is on the podium. The presidential candidates will get five minutes each for their self-introduction and then uh, the vision. When you ready, let us know, sir. Thank you very much. Are you ready? Yeah. Your five minutes then will go. Thank you. Duke or the best. Duke or the best. This is an LMDI production. Thank you very much, my fellow colleagues. Uh, my name is Julius Kulikanuba, a Liberian journalist who has practiced journalism in the last two decades. I've worked for several media institutions in Liberia, ranging from the Liberia Broadcasting System, where I began my career, up to Star Radio, the Vanguard newspaper, the Monitor newspaper, Front Page Africa. Um, I also work internationally for Deutsche Welle. Deutsche Welle is Germany's international broadcaster. I also work for Radio Netherlands International as a journalist. And I work in the Secretariat of the Press Union of Liberia as an assistant secretary, um, working to be a consequential secretary general of the union. I, as an individual, in 2011, I got in diplomacy and development cooperation, working with the EU delegation to Liberia. I also left Liberia to professionally develop myself educationally. So I studied in Germany, where I earned a master's in development and governance. I went to South Africa, I did journalism and media studies, and then I went to Sweden, I did rural development and natural resource governance. I have been in Liberia working with Internews, implementing different media development projects in our country. So to our colleagues in the counties, our journalists, we stand for you and with you, like our colleagues in Morovia. Centrally, 
we are running for the presidency of the PUL on the six pillar agenda that focuses on accountable leadership, impartial advocacy, the construction of the PUL headquarters, support for women in journalism, media and communication, media development, and then, crucially, the formation of media hubs across the country as subchapters of the PUL. On each of those critical agenda items, we have a 31 point action plan to implement. So on our media development, the PUL will have to engage in institutional capacity building and the fellowship opportunities for journalists across the country. On our media development, we will work to protect and defend journalists across the country. We are also working to initiate and reactivate the collective bargaining agreement and the welfare policy of the PUL. The collective bargaining agreement has been long in existence. The current leadership and previous leaderships have not been able to address the issue of improved salaries for journalists across the country. We are also talking about health insurance for journalists in Liberia. So for us, we want to implement the constitution of the PUL. We want to present financial and narrative reports to members of the union. The last point about the formation of media hubs. Our colleagues are in the counties. They constitute a significant portion of the journalism community of our country. The media hubs, what we want to do is to build on what people did in the past and what the current administration has been building on. The issue of county coordinators, we need to expand their role. The PUL collect deals from us. The money don't go back to the county. The collect registration fees, it does not go back to the county. So we intend to fully decentralize the PUL with an import. That is why we have a specific agenda targeting our colleagues in the counties. We are deliberate and very calculated towards them. We don't want to always see them as voters or mere voters. Every election in 2019, our colleagues in the counties, they were brought in town. According to one of the officials, they were truck to come and vote. Three years, they've not been back to our colleagues. They voted unreceived. The current registration process is fraught with a lot of challenges. We want to address the issue of malaise in the Secretariat. I said before in the Secretariat of the PUL, the PUL president does not have good record system. We need to ensure that we have a proper record system in the PUL. And that is very, very essential. Because the ongoing contestation of the list, for example, is a result of lapses in the Secretariat. We intend to work with the government of Liberia to implement the poverty reduction, I'm sorry, the proper agenda for prosperity and development. Sometimes people can misrepresent us that we are overly critical of the government. I am not anti-government. I've always been a supporter of the government because like recently I was with Internews. I was paying close to 600 US dollars in taxes. How can I be against a government that I'm giving my taxes to? So for us, we want to elaborate on an agenda that will aggressively and constructively work with the government to ensure that we have a media sector. The issue of self-regulation, we will address it. We know the debate, as John said, about self-regulation and state regulation. We need to proceed cautiously with the issue of the formation or the establishment of the Independent Broadcast Regulatory Commission. I know John will ask all of those questions, but the points that you listed are trending issues are all problems confronting the media. Do call the best. Do call the best. All right. The big ones. Beginning with Kanuba, two decades of work in the media from ELBC, where he said he began his profession. He went international too, working for several international media institutions he named. He went to school in search of big and greater education into Germany, South Africa, and Sweden. He's got degrees that are useful to you. He wants to help. He's been working with internews in the country. He brings on board several reasons why he wants to lead accountability being a part of that. He wants to be able to train the media. He wants to be able to impact the media. Ran too fast, would not get the rest. Along these lines, he's got 31 action plans. He believes in collective bargaining, which will help 
the union to have its members' lives improved. He will work to implement the constitution of the Press Union of Liberia. He believes that media hubs should be established and supported as part of the decentralization plan. Like his vice president, sure candidate, he says that journalists of the rural parts have only been used for the eventual upliftment of the ones in Monrovia and they are abandoned in the end. County coordinators will need to be empowered. He believes in full decentralization. We will be deliberate about what we're talking. Malice has fallen its way into the union. We must work against this. I am not against government. Don't be fooled. The government is for us. I pay taxes to a government I cannot be the same one to crazily oppose that. I believe in self-regulation. We should set up the body that should work among ourselves to regulate us. He did not say why. They will be deliberate. They want to win. November 12th decide. Thank you. Next, the other big man, last not the least, in fact, he's current VP, right? So he's going to come. Candidate for President Daniel Yankuna. Thank you, Dan. Daniel is proceeding to the podium. Thank you. Can you turn around to the man? Don't try that thing. <laughs> Good. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Yeah. 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 How is that, Daniel? Good? Yes. Good. Let us know whether you're really good by saying some things before your time. Good afternoon. You're now speaking. Respond to the man whether you're with him or not with him. <laughs> we are all the same. <laughs> no man over there, pa. Thank you, Dan. So let's clock in your five minutes real quick. Daniel, if you're ready. Your five minutes will roll now. Thank you. Duke or the best? Duke or the best? This is an LMDI production. My name is Daniel Yankona, current vice president at the Press Union of Liberia. I was born on June 18, 1982. Started primary education in Monrovia, later on uh, to Ganta due to the war, where my family stayed until the completion of high school uh, to Monrovia. On to Monrovia, uh, we continue our journalism as we started, like any other kid in the rural community with Radio Ganta, and we've uh, continued with Crystal FM, on to Radio Veritas, Loose FM First, and on to Fabric Radio. I was elected first in 2013 as Assistant Secretary General of the Union. I would then draft through, through a popular mandate of you, the electorates, uh, to be voted or opposed in 2016 as Secretary General of our dear union. There we serve, uh, leaving beyond trail of soft and hard data our current station at the headquarters of the union. We were again promoted because of our work to the position of vice president of the union. Currently, the position I serve. Till now, I want to step in as president of the union. Why should we be president of the union? We want to continue our work uh, to continue to increase advocacy on the protection of journalists. And there's difference between protection and defense. For, for us, we want to protect. So then we move on again to enhancing the living wages for us journalists. That has, has eluded the union for time in the uh, past because of managerial disagreement. This time, we want to bring people around the table to discuss and find a way forward. The last one, which we know John has a lot of thematic issues that we will speak to, is our headquarters. Everywhere I've traveled through the length and breadth of our country, you meet journalists who will ask you what the people did with our 100,000. So for me, 
we want to have consultative meetings. And I've divided the country into five regions where we will say it because you own your communities. In your communities, you have business people. You have politicians. They will put their money into extra account and we will construct this headquarters of the Press Union of Liberia. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have a lot to say here. This, these are introductory comments. Thank you very kindly. Daniel Yankuna, 71 minutes and 55 seconds of his time. Thank you, Daniel. We are witnessing, and I'm glad that the two lead in this business are actually intellectualizing. I was born on June 8, 1981. True? 1982? Okay. Well, I caught it down. Oh, I made a man one year older. That's fine. I started school in Monrovia. I began my profession with Veritas. Ran into the union and won as undersecretary. Got through to the secretary. And now I'm running out to the VP because of my good work. Great job done over the years made me to take the VP. Now again, I'm headed to the presidency. I'm trying to run. And I know you know I have worked well. So I need your promotion. There's a great difference between protection and defense. I choose protection. We want to protect you. So we come to this union in the business and to try to also enhance the living wages of journalists in this business. Over the years we've struggled for it, but managerial differences have made it really tough. That's why we want the presidency. We want to continue the great work that we started to do. This headquarters business. Every time I go to the interior, everywhere we are confronted about the hundred thousand dollars. Imagine where that money even came from. No best zongos crisis in Burkina Faso. Bad money first, and we took that. Then we destroyed it. Do you know the history of that money? Poison money. So, well, it was bad because one of our guys was killed in Burkina, and that money came out of there. We should have said no first. That's why we destroyed it. We will construct the union headquarters, but we will do it differently. We will hold consultative meetings across the nation. There are stakeholders in our business who are not with us but are for us. Business people, private people who put in their money into escrow account. We will use that money to build our headquarters. This headquarters we will construct. We're not going to talk much. There are more things to say. We have, we're sure of that. So we're stopping right here at more than one and a half minutes to go. Daniel Yankuna, November 12th, decide on him or not. Ladies and gentlemen, may we give both teams a big hand of applause. <laughs> on Duco debates today, ladies and gentlemen, Duco debates is shutting down now. So we'll listen to the departure comments of the vice presidents and the presidents. Betum Bio for one minute will depart with a comment. Thank you. Yes, better. Do call the best. Thank you. Our thought and questions were going to be true at the vice presidential candidates, but anyway, and, and that's okay. So I've come again to inform you that I'm on a ticket I believe on a transformation from within. There's absolutely no one who understands the press in of Liberia as compared to um, Daniel Yankona. And I'm here to assist him in showing that the beloved union that we all so cherish protects the rights of journalists across the 15 counties. Go on November 12th and mark Team Daniel and Betty. Thank you. Thank you. Beatrice here, candidate for VP. Your departure comment at one minute. Duke or the best. 
Again, fellow colleagues, I urge you all to turn up on November 12th to elect Tim Julius because we come with a manifesto that has six pillars. And we want you to please read it. We talk about accountable leadership, impartial uh, advocacy, a right for female in the media, and these are all of the things, the things that we bring forth to the table. So please think twice and don't vote continuity. Thank you. Thank you very much. Next candidate for president now, Julius Kanuba. Your departure comment. Do call the best. We like to congratulate and thank all of you for coming to this debate. It has been a healthy process. We like to assure you that upon taking over the leadership of the president of Liberia as president and as vice president, my uh, very good colleague Beatrice C, working with all our elected officers of the union, we will work in the interests of journalists in Liberia. We will build and strengthen relationships with our colleagues in the counties, from Lofa to Nimba to Bong to Grand Bassa to the western region of the country where we've been over the past 14 months. We will work towards it. One of our youngest brothers, for instance, uh, James Kwabu, he contacted us, for example, to help him with scholarship opportunities in terms of helping him. So we intend to work to professionalize the media to the extent possible that we can make the press union of Liberia inclusive. We will ensure accountability. The issue of financial reports of the PUL will be done. So we want to decentralize the PUL with an impact. Thank you. Do call the best. Last not the least, candidate for president Daniel Yanko and one minute departure. Do call the best. Thank you to all my colleagues who show up for this debate. Our platform is rooted in what I like to call IEC, increase advocacy on journalism throughout the country, enhance uh, the, the advocacy on the welfare of journalists, and continue to build the capacity of journalists because due to attrition, we will have to fill the gaps. Thank you very much. This uh, is a summary of what we need to work on for the next three years. The other ones are purely administrative. We will partner with private sector folks and public sector folks as well to construct our headquarters. Thank you very much. All right, ladies and gentlemen, now departure of the candidates right now. Thank you. Do call the best. This is an LMDI production. Let's see the departure of Aqua Beza. Goodbye on Duke or Debates. Aqua Beza will leave the hall. Datang Bayo. Goodbye. Goodbye. Julius Canuba, goodbye. And Daniel Yankona, goodbye. From Monrovia today, UL Campus Fendal, Duco the Base is shutting down. I'm John Collins, Duco the Base. Duco the Base. This is an LMDI production. Duco the Base. Duco the Base. This is an LMDI production. Do call the best. Do call the best. This is an LMDI production. Do call the best. This is an LMDI 
Production.